Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Bath and Body Works haul. I'm not joking when I say this thing is huge. I can't even lift up the box. Oh my goodness. It's this huge box. And I ordered a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to dive right into this big blue sea of products. So the first things I got were these uh, soaps. So these two I believe are new. This is Sweet Clementine and then this is Gingered Peach. I like how they're doing the uh, designs now. It's looking pretty interesting. Very cute. I think this one might be a little bit older. This is more recent I think. Uh, I hope they smell good. <laughs> I ordered them online so I don't know how they smell. We, I bought a few of these. I think they were on sale for 6 for 18, 6 for 24 I think. And I have a big family. They come here a lot and we always run out of hand soap so I stocked up on that. Yep, they were 6 for 24 so here are some of the other soaps. First I have Black Raspberry and Vanilla which is definitely a classic. This smells really good. This is a favorite of my mom's. That's why I got it. Then this is Black Cherry Merlot. I figured this probably would taste, taste? This would probably smell good for a fall, winter, like a cool weather, nice Merlot smell. I don't know. I don't drink Merlot, so I don't even know how this smells, but it's one of the newer ones as well. I'm sure it'll be fine. This one is really interesting. It's called Brown Sugar and Carrots. How is there a hand soap called brown sugar and carrots? That's what I want to know. I really like the packaging with the orange and purple carrots. It's so cute. Oh, it's so cute. I hope it, I hope it really smells good. Uh, so glazed carrots, creamy vanilla, and sweet cinnamon. So I'm sure this is going to uh, taste. I keep saying taste. This is going to smell divine. Another absolute classic is the Japanese Cherry Blossom. My mom loves this. I have bought this so many times, like the lotion and the body wash and the hand soap and the, the wallflower. I bought it so much since I was about 14 years old that honestly, I don't like it that much anymore. I'd rather try new uh, scents out than use this classic one, but whatever. People love it. Oh, and they're all deep cleansing hand soaps. I like the ones that have like the little tiny blue beads in them because they, you know, antibacterial, I think. But yeah, I'd rather this one than the one that foams. I don't really like that one that much. So I also got these uh, wallflowers. One of them I think is Autumn Mums and the next one is, I don't know, I can't see. I think it's like a peach or something. Or nectarine. We usually put these in like larger rooms just to like say the living room because we have an open concept floor so that everywhere smells nice. Yeah it's gonna be interesting I haven't tried these scents out. Usually we do sweet pea, Japanese cherry blossom. I re Oh I'm really looking forward to a winter because they have this amazing scent. It's called s'mores or chocolate chip cookies. I think it's s'mores. Oh my god it smells so good. Like, the second you walk into the house, it feels like someone's baking. It's like, oh, where's the s'mores? Or where is the, uh, the cookies? Or where is the cake? And we don't have any. Sorry. Speaking of autumn mums, like I mentioned with the wallflowers. Wallflowers? Wallflowers. I actually got the candle, the three-wick version of it. And it looks like this. Isn't it cute? I like how they changed the tops too. It looks more vintage, more chic. And apparently it was poured in New Albany, Ohio. Interesting. I like the color too. Usually I always get like sweet flavors, sweet flavors, sweet scents, like cinnamon donut or pumpkin latte or something like that. Always in these three wicks. And it's really interesting that the two three wicks that I got aren't sweet. It's supposed to be a blend of soft mum petals as well 
as amber and a hint of sandalwood. It says so right here. And you know what? It smells like a real thing. Oh my god, it smells. It smells like you just stuck your face in a bush of, uh, I don't know if that's the right word, in a bunch of mums. It's so, oh my god, I love mums. I love the deep burgundy ones and like the gold ones. Those are my favorite. But, oh, I really like this. It's gonna be really good. <laughs> So the next three wick candle that I got was the Lemon Mint Leaf. It's not really a fall scent, but I do like I do like mint and I love lemons. I love lemons so much. So I got this big baby, this three wick. This is supposed to be freshly cut lemon balm and spearmint leaves, giving refreshing lift to a blend of feather. I've never seen that word in my life and citrus. Oh my, I have to tell you, this scent right here, if you live, I don't know if they do this everywhere, but here in New York we have a lot of Italian ices, like sold, like people strolling at the cart down the street everywhere, and this smells just like an Italian ice. Like, it smells, it smells like the rainbow, the lemon one, it just smells like, it smells like summer, it smells refreshing, oh it's sweet though, I love it, mm. it smells like lemonade, <laughs> I love this thing, it's crazy, I'm like my mouth is watering, like how Wendy Williams says it in her show, like ooh, my mouth is watering, that's how my mouth is going right now, it's like ooh, this smells so good. Next up I have these two shower gels. I just ran out of my white tea and ginger, so I picked up these two, and oh, it's another white tea and ginger. I didn't realize I bought another one, and I love this one because it's, I take that taste, again with the taste, it smells kind of like the lemon mint leaf uh, candle, actually. It contains a nice citrusy scent, but it's not like too strong, it's a nice soft scent. So. Essential Amber. I love this scent. This was my favorite scent in high school. I used to use this all the time. I didn't, I don't, mm, I didn't have the uh, shower gel, but I had the body lotion and the spray, um, and that was my scent. So, Essential uh, Amber has warm amber, plum, orange flower, and pink lotus petals, and patchouli. Pichol, I've seen this word too, but I don't know how to pronounce it. It's really good. Try it. This, I think, this scent probably lasts a lot longer because it's a stronger smell. Hmm. What do you know? I have the Sensual Amber Lotion. I guess I really wanted to remind myself of my high school days. Like vanilla with like some kind of wood. <laughs> I'm an expert, you guys, obviously. But like with caramel and some spices. Ooh, I love this. I also picked up the black raspberry, no, well, yeah, black raspberry vanilla uh, lotion because it's a staple in this household. It's also kind of subtle, I think, on me. It's like a classic cream, like a classic scented cream. You know how those are, like they're like fruity but not really, they smell like cream still. It's this. This is the classic way to go. If you've never tried Bath and Body Works, maybe start with something like this instead of something crazy like brown sugar and carrots. Even though I don't think that's a lotion. If it is, I should have picked it up. Okay, so the next things I got were the same scent, and they are the peach honey. Peach and honey almond. Peach and honey and almond. And it's the lotion, which comes in a new uh, bottle type. It's different from the classic ones that look like, where is the, where is the black raspberry? It looks like this one. So you see the difference in the bottles. I think this might be a limited edition, I'm not sure. But yeah, they're from the like freshly picked collection, I think. They were in their own separate display. This one smells really good. I mean, it's really subtle, but it's a nice sweet smell. A nice sweet subtleness. That's why I picked it up. I always wanted to, I mean, I do love peaches, and I love honey. Almonds are nice, so I definitely wanted this. 
This is the uh, Fine Fragrance Mist to spray all over myself after I put on the lotion. So I definitely will have the maximum peach and honey and almond smell. <laughs> So lastly, from Bath & Body Works, I got two mason jars. So this is what they look like. It's really adorable. I've never had mason jars before. I've actually never bought candles smaller than the three wick because I figured if I want a candle, I want the candle to last as long as possible. So I'm just going to get the biggest one. We're on sale in terms of mason jar candles, but not for the three wick. So I decided to get these instead. I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. It's cute. It's small. It should, you know, be enough for my small room because I have quite a small room. But we'll see. Let me know down below if you've had these mason jar candles and if you like them or not. Because they only have one candle wick compared to the three, which would be like more evenly distributed. But oh wow, this one smells nice. <laughs> Oh my god, this smells like freshly baked cinnamon something. Cinnamon buns. <laughs> That's actually what it's called. This is the pumpkin cinnamon bun candle. So, wow. That's what it looks like. I don't know why it's red. I don't really think of red when I think of cinnamon buns. But, oh yeah, it smells like cinnamon buns, you guys. It doesn't smell like pumpkin at all. Nope, it smells like cinnamon buns. <laughs> so the last thing I got from Bath & Body Works is the pumpkin pecan waffle <laughs> candle. Oh god, I guarantee you a million bucks it smells good. I know it smells good because I did go to Bath & Body Works when I went to go buy makeup. <laughs> I have a fall haul, fall makeup haul that I will link to down below where you can see what I picked up but that same day I went to the mall it was a new mall I went to Bath & Body Works and they didn't have the same sale going on because it was Labor Day weekend they didn't have the same sale going on as they did online so I just went in the store I took notes of what candles I liked and then I went home and ordered it online so this was the number one thing I loved it was the pumpkin pecan waffles like I said it smells divine oh my god Oh, it smells so good! You see, this is the only candle I got, which is really usually what I get. <laughs> like something over the mark sweet, like something that reminds you of a bakery. It smells so sweet, and it does smell like pecans. Maybe pecans is easy to like recreate other than pumpkin. I don't smell pumpkin in this either. So this candle has pumpkin, okay, pumpkin pecan waffles, obviously, pure maple syrup, and the touch of brown sugar. Oh my god, can you just imagine that? Like on a table, like a plate, a stack of pecan waffles with maple syrup sprinkled all over it. And brown sugar. Wow. <laughs> wow. Actually, it always reminds me maple, anything maple just reminds me of Canada. It smells so good that the dog smells it. That's how good this thing is. Okay, guys, that was it for my haul. So I had a collection of fall things and classics and new stuff like the gingered peach which I just had laying by my hand so I just picked it up but yeah let me know if you love Bath & Body Works and if you do what scents are your favorite scents especially for fall I'd love to know and honestly I should start a Bath & Body Works fan club or something like you should all be a club like a YouTube community I don't know if you like it please thumbs up this girl right here. Thumb her up. Thumb me up. Thumb me up. Da, 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 da. And comment and subscribe. Down below the button is right there. And what else? Do follow me or reach out to me on Twitter and Instagram. It, the username is Jen T as in T that you drink and then three A's at the end instead of one and if that confused you I put all the links of where I am down below so you can check that out. Thanks for watching this video. See you in my next video. Bye!